Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine. My name is Dave, and check how cute this controller is. So today we're going to be checking out another controller and reviewing it, and if you know anything about me, you would know that my favorite domestic animal is a cat. I love cats. You've seen videos where I have some, you're going to see videos uh, today in this video where there are cats as well, and this right here, um, it had taken me from first sight. Now it is really cutesy and pink, but I still think it's fantastic. Now. Just from aesthetics, this controller drew me in. But looking at the picture, I really couldn't get a grasp on how big or how small it was. Now you're seeing a close up of it. Uh, there aren't actually these little paw prints on the sticks. You're seeing it without the paw prints, but these little uh, thumb covers are really easy to get and pretty cheap. So I thought they looked perfect on this cat controller so as you're seeing close up this controller is small compared to my hands and this is basically a, ch a child controller or maybe a smaller person um, like a smaller female adult or a smaller male adult or a, a child um, because the way that it can torch your hands like inward when you're trying to hold it is kind of weird but you have to contort your hands around this small controller now I can still manage to play with it and there is some sort of comfort when I actually get into the groove and as you can tell the the main feature of this controller are the first L1 and R1 buttons being like cat ears now sometimes I get confused where my fingers are because of that but they rest com comfortably in the first buttons here um, and they there are a bit um, clicky uh, not loud but they got a nice click to them so it, it, it's well made there and this controller has vibration really good vibration and it's not that heavy uh, so it's being small and has vibration they could um, really show a few other controllers uh, that don't have vibration um, a thing or two because some controllers I think leave vibration out because of, of cost and or they want to conserve the weight well this controller has vibration and has a great cost as well because I picked this up for only $30 on Amazon, the link down below. And it also has motion controls, solid mo motion controls. It doesn't have a chip reader for your Amiibos, but who needs that? Uh, the D-pad is actually spectacular. And because the controller is so small, my finger actually rests perfectly on the D-pad. So I actually played a few uh, side scrollers with this controller successfully, uh, but uh, it is kind of close to the left stick as well. So sometimes I would bump that. So that's something to keep in mind, of course, for medium to bigger size hands. And the button layout is pretty good. The, all the buttons are, are small. Everything about this controller is just a tad bit small, but the demographic that it's trying to shoot towards, I think, is a, a child and most most likely a uh, girl as well because of the color scheme but i love this i don't care about the colors if it came in blue i think i still would prefer the pink over any other color now purple eh, they might win me over the build quality is solid good plastic i mean i'm pretty surprised with this controller the sinking uh is uh, it's hit or miss. Uh, it was relatively easy to um, sync up the first time, and when it wants to work, um, to resync back up to the switch, it works. But when it doesn't want to work, oh man, you're sitting there for like 30, 40 seconds trying to sync this thing up. But you can also just plug it into the USB port and play the wired controller if you're having trouble that way. It's inconvenient sometimes, but the syncing isn't terrible. It could be better. And the battery life is decent, about eight hours. I only had a charge of this, I think, once every two weeks, which is spectacular in my book. But I didn't buy this controller for me. I bought this controller for my kiddo, and I can't wait to hear her opinion on it. So uh, I might 
let you in on that in the comments below and uh, have her comment on what she thinks about this controller. So, you know, read those comments down below and tell me um, what you think about this controller in the comments below too. So that's pretty much my th thoughts on this controller. Um, if this is something that you want, again, the links down below for the Amazon uh, purchase that helps out the channel if you click on that link. Now, if you're new to the channel, you should click the bell and subscribe because we make videos like this all the time. Now, if you're a repeat visitor, thank you so much. We really do appreciate you uh, as well. Click a like if you like uh, the video and if click dislike if you don't and tell me why you didn't dislike, uh, that why that you disliked the video so I can try to improve more in the future. But until the next time that I see everybody, I am Dave and have a great rest of your day and a great time with all the cat controllers that you play with. Meow guys.